Good evening. My name is Dean Sanchez. I am the chairman for the La Alma Community Action Group. We are the members of the community that have come together, tried to negotiate with Parks and Rec to decide what we're going to do with our center. Our intent is to keep the center open and ran by Parks and Rec. We are opposed to the privatization of our community centers as well as the rest of the community centers in Denver. As you can see, I brought the community out with me because our agenda is... Our agenda and your agenda with the admission-based um, special events is, the, is almost the same. You want to figure out how to make more money to run parks and recs, and we want to figure out how to help you make more money so you can keep the rec centers open in the poor neighborhoods to the community, for the community, to all ages, not to, no, not to any private groups that only target one audience. So we have questions. We have questions that haven't been answered yet. We have questions like, if it is a budget issue, well then, how come Parks and Recs is building an $18 million rec center on Colfax and Josephine? If it is a budget issue, how come La Familia Rec Center and Daily Park is getting a million dollar makeover to include a dog park? We don't understand why they get a dog park and we get our center closed. These are the questions that we've asked, but we haven't got any answers. We want to know how we can keep our center open, run by Parks and Recs for the community, you know, catering to the community, but we haven't got any answers on how we can negotiate to do that. The only agenda we've heard is that it's going to be privatized, and we're against that as a community, right? <laughs> the reason we show up today is, one, we want to be heard. Two, we want to know that if you do start fencing off parks, public parks, that belong to the city, that it, you, which boils down to belongs to the community. If you're going to fence off parks and make a profit, how are you going to turn in turn use that profit to keep our rec centers open? Well, let, let me um, let me just say, the process for tonight's discussion is simply for the board to hear from you, the community, as to what your thoughts are, and from you, sir, what your thoughts are. Um, this board is not making any decisions based on La Alma tonight. Um, but what we want to do is to get on the record your questions so that we can then take those back to staff who are making the decisions on all of these, on this activity, so we can have your voices. So that's the process for this evening. Um, if you want us to take those, that information, we can definitely get that to Tamika, who's taking the minutes from tonight. We can also, I personally will contact you guys and see if I can set up an opportunity for you to sit and speak with us and so we can get back to staff with any additional questions that you may have. Well, we've had those opportunities and we've gotten nowhere. It's two months later and we're still spinning our wheels wondering why. So now we have to, we have to go to the next step and figure out how do we save our rec centers. We want answers us to how we save our rec centers, not, oh, how do we transition mm -hmm. to, to a private um, organization because all that amounts to is Parks and Recs abandoning their commitment to the community, the city abandoning its commitment to the community. So how do we come to, to an understanding so we can get these questions answered, we can become, come on speaking terms where we'll you know, be productive versus just talking circles like we've been doing for three months? Uh, what I will offer is that we can meet with you as far as a board, as far as members of the executive committee to hear your concerns and bring that to staff. At tonight's discussion, um, there is no option, since this is not a, a decision-making board as far as the steps that need to be taken, I want to be able to understand more of what you need in order for us to bring it to staff with a specific turnaround um, to get back to you on each of your questions. Um, so that's why we really do need all of your questions, and I can guarantee you, we will get together with you and with staff and answer each and every one of those questions. Well, and all I'm saying this, the admission-based special events policy, mm -hmm. if it is going to help keep com the communities and the community centers open, then I'd be willing to, to entertain discussions and figure out how we can do that. But if you're going to take and close our rec centers and then take and close our parks, well then that's another issue we're going to have to try to stop because it's not fair that you keep taking from the community. Parks and Recs is here to serve the community, right? That is correct.
Thank you.